Hi guys! It is Thursday, 30th June. From tomorrow, July will start. It's so difficult for me to imagine that half of the year 2022 is already over. It's difficult for me to imagine because I had so many plans and some of them I could like I could do, I could accomplish and some of them are still delaying. But I'm excited what it is going to be in the rest half of the year. I am today working from home so, and I'm making this video because something happened recently like yesterday and day before and this is the reason why I could not vlog. I actually wanted to keep my strike of vlogging every day but because of uh, this that happened that I will share with you just in few minutes I did not really vlog. So um, I I think when I came to Germany, I did not think through about it. I was so excited that, okay, I'm going to a new country, I will meet new people, I will see a different culture and I will enjoy. Yes, indeed I do. Everything that was, that was imagined by me turned out to be true. But there was one thing that I did not think about or I underestimated and that is living far away from family. And I can tell you, I am somebody who loves family. I mean, I want my own peace. I want my own place. I want my private space. I want to have some me time. Like me time means really me time. No kids, no husband, no mother, no sister, no one. But I crave for family time. And over these last four years, especially this Corona year, this thing has hit me so hard this lockdown, my mother not being able to fly to me this often, we being incapable of flying to, to India due to some rules and regulations and having a tiny kid back then in 2020, just screwed me over. And it's not just screwed me over, it just made me so upset that I have emotions that are deep down, still there, and each time there is something Anything that's happening, like, um, you know, there is, uh, there is a hope that, okay, somebody would come to me, like from my family would visit me and due to whatever reasons this, this thing get cancelled, I'm triggered. And this trigger is just not okay, like I'm angry or I'm sad, I am just in emotional, how do you say, emotional trauma. So I go so upset, disappointed, I blast into tears. I, I burst into tears, I think is the right right thing. So I burst into tears. I cannot think anything, but my wishes circle starts in my mind. And I know that my people, my family loves me. So I, with my family, I don't only mean my family in India, but also my family from my husband's side. I know they love me. I know they love each one of us, but the separation anxiety has increased, has gone to such a high level that whenever there is something cancelled or is like on the verge of cancelling regarding, uh, regarding my family and I, I just, I just lose it. And I realized that this is one thing that if you are coming abroad, you should think about it. I'm not telling you to give up on your dreams if you want to go abroad, study, settle down. But keep in your mind that there will be days if you if you really are a person who you know just want to have family time and I guess most of us are there will be days when you will you will cry in your bed missing your family and you have to find out solutions to deal with that because you are the only one who can find out solutions to deal with that. Nobody else can do it. You have to do it before you go to study abroad, work abroad or whatever. For whatever reason you go abroad and you are planning to settle down, remember, there will be days you will cry and it's okay. I realized that this is the cost you pay to have something. You know, everything in this life is give and take. With one hand you take, with the other you give. And this is what I gave, not being so close to my family and seeing them every like once a year. And due to Corona, it was really bad. It was like once in two years or something. 
I'm grateful that my mother could at least visit me both the times I was pregnant with our kids and she could be here when I delivered and she took care of me even though she she herself was not in a physically fit state but I'm grateful that happened. I'm grateful I have a family and I'm grateful I have this opportunity to live abroad. I'm not whining. I'm just telling you that there are other realities, other things that we probably don't really think when we are thinking, okay, we're going abroad and we're going to settle down here. So this might be one thing that you, you have to think about. And uh, if you're strong, I think so. Um, each one of us is strong in one or the other way. If you're strong, you will find some way to cope up with. And if you're not, you must find a way to cope up with. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so uh, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And um, much love. Stay strong.